Join me today as we take on building our own weapon of mass destruction, an actual halo ring. Join me inside as we build this one today. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are gonna look at building our own decorative halo ring. Now, this model is done in about 16 different pieces. I have scaled it down to make this one this small. Uh, it can be the original model that we're gonna look at today is actually quite big. They come in huge sections. This thing would be about seven foot in diameter um, if we printed it at full scale. This is about 50%. So definitely scale it down. And I've done something a little out of the ordinary. I lit it up. So we can talk about that as well. But initially today, Halo is one of my favorite video games out there. Um, it's what brought me back to console when I was a young man. Uh, I think I was almost 18 when this, 17 or 18 when this game came out. And it has been just one I loved playing as a kid. Um, I still play it, let's be honest. Infin Infinite, while a lot of people bash it, it's kind of not doing great. I liked it. It was a good revamp on the game. And just the Halo lore with the books of Fall of Reach, the Flood, and all those books, they bring a lot to the genre from a game that we just kind of showed up on a ring world and started shooting people. Ugh. But it's really built a, lot, a big fascination and with last year's release of Infinite, now we have the Halo actual TV show as we're getting close to actually finding the ring world. It's one of those things, this is a project that can be a lot of fun. And with that, what I mean is the designer of the model did a really good job because the inner part of the ring is empty. There's no topography to try to match up and do different things. It is a clean slate to actually do your own topography and paint it how you want it to look. So it's a really awesome model that you can do a lot of cool stuff with. And I intend on doing some cool stuff with this with the 3D printing pin to create the terrain that as I paint, I actually have a three dimensional terrain, which is kind of fun and kind of interesting and something I've been kind of looking forward to do. But right now I've only been able to actually print the original model get it assembled, get the LEDs into the ring. I'm not done building out the base to have the switch and everything for it. But all in all, is a very detailed model, very easy to print, um, very easy to do, especially if you scale it down like I did for something like this. For an Ender 3, um, the CR10 for the bigger pieces, you would need that higher reach. And it honestly was not a hard print. And what I love is the model by default is hollow. So you can do a lot of cool stuff in that. So, and what's cool too, another thought, if you wanted the diorama of the broken ring, it's all in segments. You could create your own broken ring and have a diorama of that as well with the covenant ships or high charity or whatever floating around if you wanted, just ideas. So if you guys enjoy the content and want to see more stuff like Halo here, definitely hit that subscribe button, join the team as we print all kinds of, we print all kinds of stuff. If you have questions about 3D printing or finding models or any of that kind of stuff, comments down below, let me know the questions because who knows, your question could become a video. So definitely one of those things to put out there and let me know about. And also if you're looking at stuff and just not sure, ask the questions. So it's the best thing you can do. Also, if you give the button video a thumbs up, that does help us get out there and people more see, see more of the videos. So let's hop over to the computer for first, we're gonna find the file. Two, we're gonna slice the file and look at settings. Then three, we're gonna print this guy and then we're gonna come back and take a look at how it is right now in its more finalized project form. Now, if you guys wanna see me do more work on this one, as in the 3D printing pen and work on the topography, don't forget to join me on Tuesday nights at 8.15 Central Standard Time as I'll be streaming, working on models and different things like that. So let's hop over to that computer and let's get this one discovered. go find this out on the internet. This this model came from Thingiverse. It is Halo Installation 04 if you go looking for it. So if you search Halo, you're gonna get a ton. Um, I wound up having to do Halo Ring to finally dig this one up. Um, Spartan X360 is the contributor that made this one. Um, it's an awesome model. It's very well done. And honestly, you have a lot of ability to do whatever you want with this model. Um, like I said, you can make a broken halo ring. You can make a full halo ring which, like what you saw down there. And the beauty of this model is the inside is hollow. So with that hollowness, like you saw with me, I'm lighting it up with LEDs. 
I'm making it look very cool. And the other cool part that came with this one is in the files, he includes a landscape PDF that you can print off and actually just glue this in along the bottom to create the landscape look if you have a color printer. Now, I don't plan on doing that. I plan on actually doing texturing with the 3D printing pen, but plans are left, <laughs> yeah. Let's just say how it goes here, but this is quite a large size model. I shrunk mine down to create my ring, but you know, you may want to just do a segment, which actually, is in the plan. Um, this is also lit LED inside. This is just a quarter segment that I know you're having a look down here. That is a larger print that I did. And actually, I'm going to flip this over real quick and talk about this. So this is it at full size. One segment. This is four pieces printed at 100% normal size as you would see the file. I've got the LED, you can see the, uh, the dog tail here. In here I've got some filling to do and stuff like that, but I plan on just making a diorama where you see this one section and then the back is lit up and I'm thinking about putting a light out at the top so it actually lights up the terrain. And then doing something cool for this end at the bottom, maybe make it look like there's uh, the underworld framework for um, the Sentinels. So kind of a cool thing that I'm planning on doing but right now, this is the model that you want. And if you have, you hit that download all button and it does that, here's the tip and trick. After the number slash zip. And it will download the entire zip packet. So there's helping on a problem with downloading your files. And Super Anti Spyware had to come give me a visit. So with that said, the next thing we need to do is put this into Kira and get this thing sliced. So let's hop over to that. Okay, so here we are in the current version of Curia 14.1.13 or something like that. It's not the new 5 edition that's been released in beta. I haven't gone that far yet. I'm not up to testing that yet. So, but you can see there's the three file types. There's a quarter, there are two quarter segments, and then there is the full ring. Well, the full ring, <laughs> I don't have much that's going to do that in one piece. Not even my CR10 Max would handle that. So sec unless I shrink it down really, really small, and even then I'm going to have a lot of stuff I'm going to have to clean up. So full ring, that one's out. So let's look at these segments. So what's done really cool here is here's the quarter segment that I did. Then they split that even in half to make a, a half of a quarter. So, and to print this one properly, I'm going to talk about this for a minute. So you can't just duplicate to get this to print. So I'm going to multiply it by one so I get two of them. And actually it was smart enough to see what I wanted and then I can fold those together and make one print. Now sometimes you don't run across that and you'll have to go to right click, um, you'll have to click on it and go to mirror where you can mirror it a different direction which when I duplicated it, it automatically mirrored it for me, which was kind of cool. Um, but you have this mirror function so you can make it to where they'll connect together and work like that. But that's not the part that I'm going to use today, so I'm actually going to delete those because what you guys saw me print was this guy. Now, how I printed it. I tried this a lot of ways and I kept getting supports in places I didn't want to. And what I found, the best orientation for me was to take that upright. I've got the wrong wrong one there. And then I did the lay flat option, which is not always the best, but it set it down like that. And I printed it just like that. And I came back with the ultra so trusty custom supports to help build that up. and keep it stable and give it more grab onto the build plate. Because inside is hollow and we want to keep that. So supports I did at 90%, I used inlet, actually I used a spattering of different PLAs, uh, PLA Plus, 
Uh, there's some Duramec in here. There's a lot of inland PLA. I was using this project as a use the end of my spools because I hate waste. And one of the cool things, you know, even though it goes great for my 3D printing pin, with these small little bitty pieces like this, you can do a lot of prints. And I cut it in half when I did mine. So I cut it down to 50% and I made it small. Because, yeah. And then you'll see when I printed mine, I printed eight at a time. I took the risk, I failed a couple times. Um, you can do just one at a time, but even at that small, that's an ender two can easily bust that piece out for you. So really small build plate can do a lot of cool work here. But all in all, the model is great. Um, my average temperatures for this build were 215. My infill was very low. The model is actually very thin, so it didn't need a lot of infill. 215 is my print temperature. My bed temperature was at 50. Support percentage was at 90% overhang. I have retraction enabled. My retraction distance is 6.5 to help reduce that strain. <clears throat> and I did have Z-Hop enabled and only retract and to retract whenever it was moving. That way when it hopped to another part, it upped, moved, upped, and printed. So, but I did use the standard supports and I did that at the 90% overhang angle because there really wasn't a lot of support needed with this one. So all in all, a very good simple model and then I put it together using super glue and my 3d printing pin which is why you see those seam lines the way they are is that's because I've put the pin in there and I haven't shaved that off yet um, it just helps strengthen it in my opinion over just super glue but I use super glue for the initial adhesion that way it would hold it in place while I came in with the 3d printing pin and cleaned up the prints so now I've just got some sanding and then using that 3d printing pin to go in there and create the terrain um, and then some final painting and we're done. That project's done. It was quite a project because there's six, I think you need 16 segments to make the full ring. So kind of keep that in mind. It's not just a one print and done. This is a several prints. So um, keep that in mind. Hope you guys enjoying the content. If you did, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. We're going to hop over. You guys are going to see it printed. You're going to get a closer look at what I've got of the final product so far. And then we're going to hop onto the end and follow up. So Hope you guys have enjoyed, and we'll see you on the other side.
All right, guys, that's the print. Pretty cool model. Honestly, pretty pretty cool things you could do with this with creating some actual terrain with the buildings. Even have some of the LED lights shooting across to create the effect of the towers shooting their beams up and all that kind of cool things. So this one print can go a long way with dioramas and different things that you may want to do. So kind of keep that in mind as you print and look for different things like this. You could f do some miniatures of the UNSC fleet or something like that here to um, really kind of make it work the way you want to. And even try painting them differently because you've got seven different halo rings to paint if you go full bore. Um, so you got a lot of fun you can do here. Remember to hit that subscribe button and join the crew if you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it. And also leave us that thumbs up button so we can know we're doing really good. And we will catch you guys in the next video.